Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Behind me is the new Kia Proceed GT line. We're gonna check it out. We're on Barcelona Auto Show. And uh, without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Here's the new facelift of the Kia Proceed GT line. So first look, we have a completely new redesigned bumper and front LED headlights. Now this three strikes for the LED daytime running light. So let's come a little bit closer and check it out in detail. So a little bit more distinctive on the road. We have a nice air intake and this new design of the side arches on the bumper. A lot of air intake on the top and a little bit on the bottom. Nicely now integrated radar. Some chrome uh, matte finish details there and a little bit piano black and like a small diffuser new Kia badge it looks now more clean more premium ish I'm gonna come and check the specs later camera for the lane assist light and rain center so we're gonna check the alloy so let's back up so you can see the whole car Nice sport line. Now we have a nice chrome basil, black side mirrors. This is mostly the same door handles. You have a button here for the driver's side. Nice skirt on the bottom. Checking the alloys. Diamond cut. So these are 225, 45, R17. Still same signature on the rear, tinted lights, excuse me, windows and uh, panoramic roof. A new shark fin. You can see this is interesting, this like two openings on the top in the glass. Nice spoiler and stoplight, sports stoplight integrated on the top. Still same nice signature LED taillights. And we have a now fake exhaust and a little fake uh, tips, but it still looks decent. Uh, you can see the exhaust pipe on the right side. Let's open the cargo area. So we have a, a 360 uh, fisheye lens backing camera. This one's a hybrid. Again, nice badging, a little updated. If we back up, you can see the whole car Opens fairly tall. I think they could have put it white LEDs on the top. You can close here or manually. Have this leather like closing, release, and voila. So we have a very accessible uh, space. Five fingers of height. Massive storage area here. Room for emergency triangle. A little room over here. Then we have storage here area, another compartment there, really practical. And then a big one here. And then another one over there. And we have additional room over there as well. So it appears there's other points here inside. You can access them from the top as well. Rusher hook two speakers with the amplifier and then again another storage area there so really a lot of room and you have a one warm light on the left side tether points over here as well both sides close it up <clears throat> now what we're gonna come to the front and then we're gonna check the rear so this one's locked so, good closing sound. You just check the seals. So, there's a lot of improvement here. Look at this double seal, and then one over here. So, you can see that. So, interior materials this is soft, same design, memory seats, chrome, a little bit piano black, bar windows. You can lock the rear. This is nice and soft as well. You have a little rubber here. This is padded with leather and then hard plastics on the bottom. 
of room here, JBL speakers. Here's your tire pressure information, pause and read. Aluminium doorstep, electronic seats. We have a nicely profiled seat, so we have nice to the touch leather periphery in the middle of some contrast gray stitching and then the GT line you see that better aluminium sport paddles still physical control for the lights brightness blind spot lane traction off you can open from the driver position so you can, this is a manual steering column look at the panel roof let's sit inside Close it up. So if I can posi reposition it for myself a little bit. There we go. Plenty of knee room. So I'm gonna zoom out to my wide lens. And there we go. This is the new point of view from a driver perspective. So still the same layout of the dash, a little bit different colors on the infotainment and a digital cockpit. Let's zoom in. So checking the steering wheel, just to see really nice high quality finish on this one. Contra stitching, GT line, new Kia logo, still physical buttons we still love. So for the infotainment voice, cruise control, sport paddles plus and minus. You still have the same light controls. So this is all same design, nice and soft. And then we have this uh, gorgeous digital cockpit, nice graphics. Now let's see if we can see here some menus. So this is a plug-in hybrid, obviously. You can cycle through the menus using one of these. And then see this one, can speed. And then here, so it's quite nice. Uh, checking here, same layout. We have the infotainment, nice and big, home screen. So you can project the phone, get connect, quiet mode, valet mode. Okay, navigation. map so uh, it looks like some, someone didn't hook up the battery to a plug 12 volt plug we're in Barcelona auto show and this is all familiar a little bit redesigned but that's it you still have a climate control access over here although you have a uh, shortcuts here there are touch you have still a nice physical knobs for the radio Hazards you can lock here. So physical controls, nice layout, simple to use for the AC. And over here you have heated seats and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, very nice layout. You can put here a rubber mat, a phone uh, for wireless charging, then this lightens up. 12 volt 180 and then a USB A for fast charging and another one for media a little bit redesigned automatic lever it's nice shift lock release driving modes auto hold off parking sensors and back in camera you can see that this is a quite decent resolution now i would say <clears throat> and driving modes so comfort this is the sport and eco so quite nice looking so electronic parking ring auto hole you can put something here like a key fob adjustable cup holders so this is nice it's extendable have a decent storage room the carpet in the bottom uh, a lot of piano black i'm not a huge fan of already explained that in multiple videos dust collector magnet for dust and it easily scratches fingerprint magnet so very spacious glove compartment might have an AC uh, looking at the top so controls for the 
uh, shade opening the roof oh led lights now finally inside I'll carpet inside with the glasses compart in the glasses compartment control the auto dimming nice big mirror still warm light when you close it it closes up look at the panel roof so this is actually closed i thought this was an opening my mistake now let's check the headroom two meter tall person 6.6 .6, my hair is touching but i'm pretty comfortable now we're gonna check the rear i can see my knee room and i'm gonna straighten up a bit now let's check the rear space also good closing sound hard plastic on the rear heated seats rear seats and power windows this is nice and soft rubber inside decent storage area a little aluminium inside as well so let's check here so i was sitting in the front plenty of feet room it's a little tight for my knees but if i was a little bit front or if the driver was a little bit upwards i would fit again i'm two meters tall or 6.6 .6 if you're new to the channel ac controls in the rear uh, usb a so no usb c's have a nice strap here and this is kind of plasticky so you can see some a little bit more light inside and over here if we look at the uh you have a nice window in the c pillar so you can see good overview on the back as well seats kind of stiff but they have a nice room on the bottom have uh, for the kids isofix just push it inside middle armrest two cup holders no opening in the middle so the seats knocked down i forgot to mention 60 40 obviously this is kind of stiffer in this one as well so i wouldn't put a third person here close it up and just to check the headspace so it's pretty obvious i cannot uh, if i was an average person i think i would be a tight fit but for me uh, this is a back and neck killer so but i'm taller than the average adult sorry for the turning of the camera and over here you have you can lock for the kids so there you go so let's check the spec real quick uh, before we do that, I just want to open the engine compartment. Of course, not to forget. So smash the thumbs up for this effort for first look on Barcelona Auto Show. So we have here a Turbo Smart Stream G. So this is a petrol engine combined with the uh, electric motor for the plug-in hybrid, obviously, and the blue thing is your washer fluid so that's what you need to top up the rest leave it to the mechanics we have the little leg there just close it up so over there is the plug-in hybrid version uh excuse me uh yeah plug-in hybrid and uh this one might be just a hybrid we're gonna check it out uh because i actually didn't read the specs to be honest so so this is in Spanish and it looks like there's no English. So proceed 1.5 TGDE. Uh, so this is the mild hybrid version. Okay, even better for petrol fans. GT line, DTC. So here's the uh, final price, 29,000 euros. So that's a pretty good bargain if you ask me for a sports car. So we have the exterior here, interior, premium package comfort and safeguarded so some uh, basics and this is the I guess the base price 22,000 euros but probably not this is only for the proceed not for the GT line version so uh, that's the spec tell me in the comments how do you like the uh, facelift of the new Kia proceed GT line uh, I've actually filmed first model that was launched in Paris so this is kind of the the next step so everyone thank you for watching again subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from barcelona auto show see you in the next one bye